My name is Kayla Weisberg. I am partner at Invest Her Ventures. We are an early stage investment firm here in Chicago that exclusively backs female tech founders. We are in the business of telling the future and we are not fortune tellers. <laughs> so we back early stage companies, primarily post product, post revenue, but just getting started. And so what we have been able to identify is an extraordinary talent pool of capable and talented women, but we have had to reaffirm our thesis to really back the founders that we truly believe in, that have business solutions to, ex to address very large markets in untapped industries. As a, a female entrepreneur and a minority leader, I think it's really important to ask follow-up questions. And when you're starting a business or supporting a business, especially at the early stage, or even if you're an entrepreneur working at a large organization, I hope you hear no a lot because that means that you're aiming really high. But what I encourage women to do when they hear no is ask a follow-up question. And that follow-up question is no to what? No to me, no to timing, no to price. If we don't ask that follow-up question, we'll never get clarity around the real reason for the objection and if we can blow through it. So there aren't many investment firms that have a focus on sales and customer success. And my background is in startup sales and also B2B enterprise selling. So what we spend a lot of time on with our portfolio companies that can benefit from it is helping with that sales life cycle, understanding what a sales funnel looks like, building the framework and the fundamentals so that they can set their company up for success and especially the talent acquisition, finding great hires to add value to their company. I believe that backing female founders is so crucial for the future. By taking capital risks in women, we are going to see a strong network effect. In 2017, only 2.19% of capital went to female-led companies and in Last year in 2018, $58 billion in capital went to male-run companies where only $1.5 billion went to female-run companies. So I think as women, if we continue to support women, continue to back women with our time, our resources, but especially our capital, hopefully we will see our personal portfolio companies succeed and empower those women to use their profits to pay it forward to future female founders.